Okay, what's priced art? That's the question artists ask themselves when faced with the cost of making a living in the Big Apple. Well, New Jersey correspondent Roger Stern reports now on what might be a very attractive alternative for artists in search of studio space. Move over Soho, this four by six block section of Jersey City may soon become the region's hottest mecca for artists. Artists and promoters took us on a tour of one of the area's many warehouses, one already converted into 200 studios and galleries. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. Please come in. We're here to take a look at your, uh, your studio. Come in. One of them belongs to painter Bill Barrel. He has 1,600 square feet, including a loft area he uses as a gallery. His main studio has 17-foot ceilings and just the right mixture of solitude and atmosphere. He has worked throughout our area, including in Soho, but now he's happy being across the river. I like Manhattan. I've got nothing against it. It's a beautiful place, and uh, I would like to be there, but I can't afford to be there. And uh, over here in Jersey City, uh, it's, it's not just physically beautiful. The light is fantastic. I mean, terrific light. That's what happens when there are no skyscrapers and water nearby to reflect the sunlight. The bottom line for Jersey City is, of course, price. In Soho, a space this big might cost you $30 to $40 a square foot. Here, they're asking only eight. Yet it is so close to Soho and surrounded by path stations. We're closer to lower Manhattan than, than many parts of New York City and midtown Manhattan. It's only a three-minute subway ride from Jersey City to Wall Street, and so that that uh, location lends itself to the um, to the program that we have here. That's why city officials have passed zoning laws to fertilize this promising artist colony. I receive a lot of calls on it weekly. Um, developers looking to develop artist space as well as people looking to inhabit it and you know live in it. Advocates from a group called Pro Arts have gotten the city to pass zoning laws restricting the area only to artists and they hope to avoid the mistakes of Soho, which became so chic, many of the artists can no longer afford to work there. We have an artist certification board that uh, checks whether people are artists mm -hmm. um, or not, so we're not getting a bunch of yuppies coming in who want to be in, live in a trendy <laughs> loft space. As one artist explained, Soho is too chic, Jersey City is funky. I'm Roger Stern for the Channel 11 News at 10.